guys. So I decided to get ready for you guys or get ready with you guys today since I was going to do a makeup tutorial but I'm going to do that tomorrow because it's going to take up a little bit more time. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I did my makeup today then keep watching. I have a new setup now. It's amazing. I love it. I got this desk from Craigslist. Danny got it for me and it's perfect. It's like it's from Ikea and it's just like this little desk with um, these little drawers down here. I'll just put a picture like right here and show it to you guys. But um, I was gonna do a makeup tutorial for my makeup look that I did on New Year's, New Year's Eve, but turns out we have a lot of stuff to do today. Today's Saturday, so I'll probably just film it tomorrow. My hair is a little bit damp because I got in the shower and I think I used too much conditioner, so um, I feel like my hair is a little bit too soft. So I'm gonna be using this Ocean Texture Spray from Jean Juarez, and I love this stuff. I got it a couple of years ago, actually. I still have some left. I have like this much left, but I, I don't use it like every day or anything, but it smells so good. And this just gives your hair some texture and doesn't leave it all like flat and lifeless. This was $23. Okay, so my face is washed and moisturized. My friend gave me these samples from Sephora and I don't know which one I'm gonna put on my face, but um, I think this one she said. This is the Ren Rose Oil. I haven't put anything on my face for like a week because I had a really bad eczema breakout on my face, like all over my face, it was terrible. And she said that this makes your skin really soft and she said it works as a good primer. Although I'm a little afraid to use this on my face because I do get oily throughout the day and I feel like this might make it worse, but I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna be using my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. I am almost out of this, literally getting the last little bits here. This is in the shade Santa Fe. So I got a gym membership and I went today. I woke up at 7.30 or somewhere around 7.30 and I did 30 minutes of cardio and then I did some arm workouts and it was really nice. I got back before Danny and Riley were even awake. Okay, I zoomed in a little bit because I just feel like I was too far away. So if you guys have any requests for me to do, like any makeup tutorials or hair tutorials, are you okay? Or just anything, just let me know, leave comments and ask me if I can do a certain video and I most likely will. This is the CoverGirl and Olay Simply Ageless. Ageless, I can't talk today. Eye concealer in 205. I'm just gonna pat it under my eyes to get rid of the huge bags and circles that I have. Does that even make a difference? Wow. It feels so good to finally be wearing makeup again because I mean there are certain days like there are maybe one at least one day in the week where I won't wear any makeup just to let my face breathe but I haven't worn makeup for like a whole week because of my eczema breakout that I had. It finally just started going away. I'm taking some setting powder from MAC and putting that all over my face. I am going to contour NARS Laguna and my MAC 168, I think. If you guys don't know what um, I did for my makeup on New Year's Eve, you can look on my Instagram. I will put all my um, account usernames down below. Man, I still feel hungry and I just ate breakfast not that long ago. Maybe I didn't eat enough, I don't know. I'm taking NARS Orgasm and I'm putting this on the apples of my cheeks and up. 
my cheekbone. I'm doing my brows now. I'm just gonna use my Anastasia brow pencil today in dark brown. Usually I use my Tarte brow mousse or on days where I actually wanna take forever to actually do my brows, I'll use this Brow Genius Kit by Anastasia. concealer that I used under my eyes and I'm just gonna fix my eyebrows to make them match a little better I'm gonna use Urban Decay's Primer Potion and this is my favorite one a lot of people use the shadow insurance by Too Faced and I have that and I like it but I feel like it's a little too oily. I usually shake it up before I use it but I like this a lot more. Okay I'm taking milk and I'm just gonna put some on my finger. <laughs> so like that and then I'm just gonna pat it onto my eyelid. I love using this as a base for matte colors like Foxy from the Naked 2 palette because it doesn't show up quite like how it does in the pan. It really shows true to color when you use this underneath. I'm gonna apply Foxy, which is this cream color right here, all over my lid. And it's matte. I love matte eyeshadows. I, ugh. Tarte just came out with a Magnificent palette, and that's limited edition, but I can't afford it right now sadly i love matte palettes they're just amazing so i already kind of did one eye because my camera ran out of space but anyway so i'm taking a fluffy brush and i'm just putting keys in my crease i'm using my 217 to blend it out a little bit better Then I'm taking black out and um, I'm just going to put it into the crease very lightly and just keep adding little by little. That way I don't get too much at once and have a harder time blending. And then after this I'm going to put, oops I think I put too much right there. I'm going to apply booty call to my um, brow bone. I'm going to use that as a highlight. And then I'm just going to apply my eyeliner and mascara, and then I will be done. And my camera is going to die soon, so I'm gonna just probably have to show you the finished look by the time I'm done because it might die before I finish. Okay, so my camera um, died, my battery died, so what I did was applied eyeliner and then I went in with a pencil brush and blackout and I kind of just added more um, of that into my crease for more depth and just to make my eyeliner match a little bit more because I was having a bad day for eyeliner. I just used the e.l.f. liquid liner. My eyelashes are so bad I'm just waiting for them to dry and I'll curl them again and then I'll be done. So. For lipstick, I think I'm gonna do Pink Nouveau today. All right, so I think that's it. I love the satin finishes on MAC lipsticks. They're just perfect. They're like, they look matte and then they go on smoothly like a cream machine kind of. And I love them. So I know my eye makeup is a little bit dark for a bright lip, but once in a while, that's just how I feel. <laughs> so what happened? I will do a makeup tutorial tomorrow for my New Year's Eve look and did I say New Year's? <laughs> That's the second time I've done that. For my New Year's Eve look, it's obviously late but I mean it's just an idea. You can do it for you know going to a party, going to a club, or 
New Year's Eve next year. Give me some requests of something you'd like to see and I will do some tutorials. These get ready with me videos are kind of long and then my battery ends up dying so I can just do some eye tutorials for you guys. I actually kind of like how my eye makeup came out, turned out today. Thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>